Previously on the Cowboy Way, Alabama. We got a little problem. After a short trip to the chuck wagon races, the Cowboys returned home to a big problem. Y'all cows are over here, been over here for a couple days. I have got to get them off the ground today. And even though they struggled to get the situation under control. Johnny, hey, early. They eventually got their wayward cattle straightened out. I'm trying to keep up with the market right now. It's not where it needs to be right now with the deal we have going on with Brett. Bubba was feeling jittery about the cattle market, so a visit to the stockyard was in order. Where Booger got inspired to add a new skill to his cowboy resume. When I was at the sale barn the other day, he made me think. Why don't I just go to auctioneering school? And after learning the tricks of the trade, better, 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 but Boogers proved he's a natural at a real live auction. Anybody got any tube over here? Anybody want a tube? Anybody want to get another 32? So we right there, dollar 31. They are sure putting on the weight, ain't they? Turning that grass into beef, huh? Local rancher Brett Dalrymple was so impressed with the guy's progress on his cattle investment. I wouldn't mind picking out some of the best of the best of those heifers and, and keeping for a replacement cow. Do you have a bull? I do not. I need to get one. But he decided to give them an important assignment, sure to grow his herd. Well, Mr. Brett, we can get that handled. That won't be a problem. If I had any doubts, I wouldn't ask you to. And now, on this episode of The Cowboy Way. We'll try to water them up down there and just ride the bulls out. Me and Bubba ain't here today. We might just try to pin the whole herd, then get the bulls out. Sounds good. While Bubba is homesick, Cody and Booger run out four bulls from their herd. That gives us three. Now we got one more bull to find, and obviously he ain't in here. And even though it's a tough job without a third cowboy, hey! Ow. Ooh, that's a good way to lose a hand. Cody and Booger get the job done. I suck right there, Jill and the dog. Chick gave me a call this morning. He's got a pile of bulls down in Louisiana. Probably have a good heifer bull we can get from Mr. Brett. They also got a bunch of cattle down there they're fixing to start gathering out of that swamp area. And they was wondering what we was doing. We could come down there and help them. Booger has a lead on a bull for Brett and a job for the cowboys. But they must go to Louisiana for both. Be gone, what, a day, day and a half? Yeah. <laughs> so Bubba asked for permission from Brett to leave work for a few days. So I was hoping that you would be OK with us possibly staying an extra day, maybe two. Um. And the cowboys hit the open road. Road trip. We need to get there, get it done, and get back to work. Bubba, no matter where you're going, there you are. You just remember that. Yeah. We'll try to water them up down there and just ride the bulls out. Me and Bubba ain't here today. We might just try to pin the whole herd, then get the bulls out. Sounds good. Today's okay. a pretty simple day. These bulls have been running these cows about 90 days. It's time to pull the bulls off, put them in the pen. We don't want these cattle getting bred past this point. Bubba's out sick today, it just makes the job harder. So I mean, instead of getting done a half a day, now it's probably gonna take most of the day to get these bulls rode out. get across now I'll go back around here to the left we'll push all them cattle and hey, we can see them from way up yonder yeah but you see that tree over there that's gonna be more the style we'll bring them up that fence running across they'll be in that corner we'll bring them up that fence so just right over that hill till you see cattle instead of taking all these cows and driving them way up out of these pens the easiest thing to do is to bunch them up and ride the bulls out if we can get them bulls rode out and then hold them up then we can take them to the pens instead of taking all the cows all the way to the pen stressing them out stressing the calves out just ride the bulls out, ride the bulls to the pen. Hey, we got them rode out pretty easy. Yep. Obviously, there's only two bulls in the bunch. 
We've got the two bulls out, and now we're still short two bulls. So we're fixing to have to go back ride, take the dogs and really comb these branches and these woods out to see if we can find where these bulls are squatted. They'll be in a small spot, nice and cool, if I had to guess. He was laid off over there in the dang corner. That gives us three. Now we got one more bull to find, and obviously he ain't in here. Well, let's go find that last bull. Yes, sir. That's all four of them right there. Let's hold these cattle up right here. We'll sort our bulls out and we'll drive them to the pen. Ain't but one way to get the bull where he needs to go, and that's to drive him. Yeah, stay with him. All right, let's take these bulls on these cows and go back out the gate hole. Step up there, step up there, and he's out here. Hey, boo. Hey. Horseback with dogs, that's all you can do. There you go. Good? Yeah. Whatever you do, don't jump in the trailer with these things. Don't worry, I'm getting a cut gate. Let them all go up there. Let them just load them straight. If we keep them close, maybe they won't have room to fight. Hey, boo! Hey, boo! Hey, boo! Hey! Hey, boo! Hey! Hey! Catch that front cut. That's the one calling all the trouble. This rascal is aggravating. He's already run one bull out of the trailer. Now we got to load them all back up again. All right, ready? Yeah. I suck right there, Jill of the dog. Most time he's the king tut. Hey. Uh, ow! Oh, that's a good way to lose a hand. Here's your right. We finally get these bulls up the pins. You know, it's been a long day. We've drove these bulls a long ways, and it was a lot harder with not having Bubba here. But we finally get the job done, get the bulls loaded up, another one down. Well, that went pretty good, didn't it? It's sure too bad none of these bulls will work for Mr. Brett's deal, you know it? Them some nice bulls. Them bulls are way too big to go for Mr. Brett. He yeah. needs something to be on heifers. Hey, don't worry about the bull deal. I think I got us a bull worked out for Mr. Brett. Really? A buddy of mine, Chick's got one down in Louisiana. Only kicker to that is he's in Louisiana. What part? Grand Chenier. Grand Chenier, that ain't too far from old buddy Jade Connor's place. I know you've heard me talk about him. Bunch. Calf roper. Heck, I'm up for a road trip. Well, he mentioned he had some more cow work we could do while he was down there too. I mean, seven, eight hours. I, I don't care to drive it in one day. If we go down there, stay a day. That'd be pretty good. Go out and pick up a bull, do a little work. Yeah. Might make a little bit of day money to help pay for the fuel. Yes, sir. I say we do it. I don't know, we need to, need to talk it over with Bubba. We probably need to go check on him, see if he was just playing hooky today or if he was really sick. Well, I'll haul the bulls. You go by a store and get Bubba a lollipop, maybe popsicles, chicken noodle soup. Or... Anybody home? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. What, are you sick? Yeah, man, I don't feel good. What's wrong with you? We got a case of the pukes. Well, me and Bubba get this job done. I think we need to go by and check on Bubba. And when we walk into Bubba's house and he's laid up in that chair like a beach well, he looks pale. And you can tell that baby's sick. He does not look like he feels good at all. You need a vet? I need something. Kaylee just went to town to get me some medicine. What about this? Huh? That make you feel better? Say, hmm? look, I brought you something to eat, too. Yeah, man. We you just did? You brought something to eat? Yeah, I brought you some soup. And look, a balloon? Are you, are you contagious? No. What'd when you get finished? sick from, Bubba? I, I, don't, I ain't quite sure, man. I ate chicken yesterday afternoon, but I ate beef last night. And I don't think it was the beef. It's a well-known fact that I am not a fan of chicken. And here goes Bubba out eating chicken, getting a tummy ache and can't show up for work. I would love to say I told you so. What y'all been doing? Got them bulls out of them cows. You have any problem? 
It's normal problems. Speaking of bulls, Chick gave me a call this morning. What do you have to say? He said he's got a pile of bulls down in Louisiana. It's probably had the good heifer bull we can get from Mr. Brett. Boy, that'd work, huh? We just gotta go to Louisiana to get them. When are we supposed to be headed to do this? Well, here's the kicker. You also got a bunch of cattle down there they're fixing to start gathering out of that swamp area. And they was wondering what we was doing. If we could come down there and help them. We're starting to slow down with everything else we got. I was thinking we might ease down there for a week or so and go down there, hang out a little bit, make a road trip out of it, pick up a couple bulls. Draw a check. Draw a check. Exactly. Draw a check. You ain't kidding on that. This deal we've got going on with Brent, we haven't received a paycheck. Going down to Louisiana to make a little bit of money is what we need right now. Kaylee's got a list of people she can call and, and we can hire a few boys to come help out, look over the cattle for us while we're gone. And I can just See? Run, I'll run that by Brett and we can we can all just leave and go find Brett a bull. Pretty much sounds like to me, Louisiana is the place we need to go. You like your little balloon? That's pretty nice, man. No, that's good. Let's get to work, party's over. Now get up, we got stuff to be doing. We'll see you a little later. Glad you're feeling better. Appreciate it. It cost me $3. Coming up. There's a guy we know out there, and he wants us to help him catch some cattle while we're down there. So I was hoping that you would be OK with us possibly staying an extra day, maybe two. Um, hey. Wrong spot right here, son. No, we in the right spot. Listen, this ain't our spot. Yes, it is. Howdy, Mr. Brett. Hey, Bubba. How, How you, you doing, doing, buddy? I'm doing good. All right, man. Hey, Brett. So you brought the boss with you today. Oh, yeah. Both hey, of them. Pretty girl. Say hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? What brings you around? Well, I come to talk to you about some good news. What's that? That bull that you were looking for, we found one. For them heifers? Yes, sir. Brett's so satisfied with the cattle that he wants to keep back some of these heifers and turn them into replacement heifers of his own. So in order to do that, he wants us to go find a bull for him to put on these replacement heifers. The only problem is oh. he's not local. He's in Louisiana. Oh. Too, that ain't too bad. Be gone, what, a day, day and a half? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I need to take an extra day off. Um, there's a guy we know out there, and he wants us to help him catch some cattle while we're down there. So I was hoping that you would be OK with us possibly staying an extra day, maybe two, depending on if we get them all caught. Because you know things have been tough. We haven't drawn a paycheck in quite a while. And I know our families can sure use the, the check. And, to help us keep keep the lights on. Um, well, I, I ain't got no problem with that. We got to figure out what we're gonna do with the cattle, though. See, I've got my lovely wife here, who's also the secretary at the cattle company. She's got a list of, of good hands that we can hire to come in and help. I know all the guys, and they would do a good job for us while we're gone. Bubba, I hate not take you up on over, but my boy's gonna be in town for the next couple of days anyway. Well, if I just get Dakota and Dalton and Dylan to help me. Besides, I take advantage of a little bit of free labor. <laughs> Kaylee can go off and enjoy herself a day or two. I imagine you're probably about ready. That sounds amazing to me. Brett, you're on my level. Today, I think Brett Dalrymple is my best friend. <laughs> and you and Cody and Booger's all gonna be trapped in the same car? Unfortunately, yes. Good for me, I can't go. <laughs> you sure you don't want to swap with me? Nope, I do not. I'm glad <laughs> it's you going and not me. Y'all have a safe trip. All right, buddy. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Road trip. We're gonna take some boudin back to Alabama. Yeah, I like good. good boudin. Good old you boudin. Ain't kid. Mm -hmm. Boy, day's the day. We finally get to load up the truck and head west. We going to Louisiana. Here in a few minutes, we're going so slow, we're going to see some grandma on a moped pass us. What are you in such a hurry for? You're only going 40, speed limit 65. Man, we got we got this thing mapped out. We need to get there, get it done, and get back to work. Why? I wonder if there's any good fish We got work to do. Bubba, no matter where you're going, there you are. You just remember that. Yeah. We start on our trip, and you tell Bubba, he's wanting to stick to a schedule, stay on this highway, travel this many miles. That's not what a road trip's all about. When you make a road trip, you want to see new places. 
see new people, have a good time. It's time to load up and ride around. We're gonna go to Louisiana to buy some bull and act like a clown. Yeah. Booger's just obnoxious. What I need is some earplugs, something, because with Booger sitting behind me, I feel like I'm in a daycare with a bunch of wild kids. I'm gonna go nuts. That's good. I got a question, gentlemen. Don't do that. Now y'all can hear me. About run off the highway. Now y'all can hear me. Where did you get that? Who's that? Who's that here? Can you please stop? Booger, stop that. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I'm, I'm, I'm hey, now. Clip out here. <laughs> Look right there, Bubba. Mississippi. Mississippi. <laughs> Hammer down, son. Good morning. Hi, good morning. You guys want to come over here? Okay. You can set your shoes and all of your bags down wow, and then hot. just come back out. Yeah, so it's going to be about 90 degrees in here today. So I thought yoga, hot yoga was yoga without air conditioning. <laughs> Me and Jacqueline have been exercising together ever since she moved here with Booger. Today, she has this great idea to go to hot yoga. I have never done any version of yoga in my life, and this room is so hot. So I don't know how this is going to go. Okay. They're like Ladies, if you want to come up right here, we've got you a couple spots set up and some blocks. <laughs> so when we walk in, everybody's really quiet, and it's like they're meditating or something. I think these people are really serious about yoga. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice today, and then pull forward into a tabletop position. Are you hot? <laughs> Wrists right underneath your shoulders. Breath out. <sighs> Exhale, belly button is spine. Inhale, pull your knees up and back, downward facing dog. I have no clue what she's talking about. Big breath in, warrior one. Good, inhale as you reach up. Front foot's at 12 o'clock. I can't even tell how Kaylee's doing because I'm so focused on trying to not fall over myself. But every time I look at her, I can't help but just start to laugh. Nice, so try to bring your knee up to the sky. You're good. <laughs> Bend that foot towards your glute. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> One more big breath in. Oh my gosh. Breath out. <sighs> knee to nose. Which knee? <laughs> Left one. The hardest part about this class is how close everybody is. When we bend over, we're putting our behind in someone's face, and then I'll turn around and there'll be a foot in my face. It's just really hot and really close. What is that called? We might not be the most flexible people in the room, but we're definitely having the most fun. Am I going the wrong way? <laughs> I'm on your bed. <laughs> and when you're ready, completely relax into your mat for Shavasana. It's Shavasana. Final relaxation. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There was definitely one part of the class that I really enjoyed. The end. Kaylee. Jacqueline. I am so sorry. I am never taking a workout recommendation from okay, you Okay, look, if you don't want to be my friend anymore, I totally understand. Yeah, well, that's good because it's over. <laughs> I don't even want to be my friend anymore. <laughs> I'm ready for some air. I'm ready for a smoothie. I'm gonna go get smoothies. Something cold. Yeah. Refresh. Let's get out of here. Oh, I can barely walk. I ain't kidding. My legs are jello. Coming up. Josie, we're gonna try to talk Cody into roping a few today. He's kind of crawfishing already. If you're scared, say you're scared. Mm. Oh, so, Harris, now. I think she called you out, Harris. <laughs> mm. We ain't far from Mr. Ken Ray's place. Mr. Who? Ken Ray, the saddle maker. That's what, let's stop by there. Too. Well, he, he made that saddle I ride. I've never met him. It'd be pretty cool to meet the guy who made my saddle. Yeah, let's go I'd really like to meet him, man. I'd love to. I've heard, I heard about Ken Ray my whole life. I've had that saddle since I was 14 or 15 years old. Good riding circuit. I'd be glad to meet the man. 
Look. You're driving. I'll get it. I'll, 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 we can I'll, call him and tell him we're coming. I'll, Heck, he might not even be there. I'll find his address. He, he's a saddle maker. He's probably in that shop making saddles or making some equipment. Hey, I'm finished to get me some stuff. And every day we get to go buy a good saddle shop. Now, now, don't you know, You better call Jacqueline and ask her if it's all right for her. Yeah. This man has built saddles for years now. He builds custom ranch saddles, tack, hobbles, riding saddles, anything to do in the cowboy world that has to do with leather. This is a cowboy candy store right here. Well, <laughs> We got some stuff for cowboys now. Yes, sir. Mr. Ken I actually got a saddle in the trailer that you made, believe it or not. Really? Yes, sir. It says well, Ken, cool. Ken Ray Roper, Baton Rouge, Louisiana on it. If you got it, I got a book. We'll look at the serial number on it and see just when it was made. That'd be and cool. That's pretty neat right there now. Yeah. My dad bought it for me when I was 14, maybe 15 years really? old. My dad always said, you need to find a man that made that saddle, and I'll be dang here we are. Yep, that's cool. To meet Mr. Ken for the first time, it's really an honor. This guy knows what he's talking about. He's had good saddles out in the market for a long time. I ride one of them. I love my saddle. I've won a lot of money out of my saddle. And to finally be able to meet this man is truly an honor. That saddle's at least 20 years old. You think you got it wrote down? I like to know how old it is. Let's see that. Like 94 or something. Let's look and see. The full tooled saddle, huh? Fully tooled, yes, sir. Mr. Ken doesn't hire out his saddle to be built. He custom builds every single saddle that he makes. And that says a lot for the man. It says a lot for his business. So we say 94? Yes, sir. 08 of 94, James Corson. I'll be dang 14 and a half inch seat. Yep. TM Roper, full tooled, number eight horn, full double rigging. 24 years? Yep. This saddle's almost as old as me. Yep. I'm just, I'm blown away by the history on the saddle. It just, it really, it's special. Well, while we're in here, I'd like to get my mare off the trailer and uh, get you to put a few of these trees on her and, and see which one fits her the best, because the saddles that I have, I feel like they don't fit her correctly, and yeah. uh, I really like to have something that fits her the way it's supposed to. No, we can do that. Made. My saddle that I have right now, it doesn't really fit my mare too good. She's a little on the small end, her back's shaped a little bit different. Well, while we're here at Mr. Ken Ray's saddle shop, I'm gonna find the right saddle tree to fit my mare and have me a saddle built. A little spot, huh? Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, yeah, that... That and definitely yeah, see how that, that real wide mm -hmm. saddle won't fit, so that's mm -hmm. on her with her. That's what's been rubbing her, but you just got mm -hmm. like the same tree. It's gonna be a little more narrow fit here. It fits her a little better. Yeah. You gonna sit in it, Bubba? No. Huh? No. <laughs> the 15 inch seat. Yeah, keep him in there. <laughs> no, I can't fit in a 15 inch seat. We're heading down to Grand Chenier when we leave here, Mr. Ken. Hey, Bubba, let's get in here and see if we can't do a little bit of business. Okay. Uh huh. Come on. Let's go in there and discuss one of these saddles and see what we come up with. Thanks for my smoothie. I really should be picking yours up. Yeah, you should have tortured me today. <laughs> oh, they look good. Once we finish hot yoga, I just want something cold. So we find a smoothie shop where we could just sit, relax, and talk about how we're never doing hot yoga again. I wanted this during that class. Mm-hmm. It's what got me through. Are you ever gonna wanna do hot yoga again? Um, no. no. <laughs> I really did long. not even have to think about that. I can guarantee you I will never, ever, ever do hot yoga again, no matter what. How do you think the road trip's going with the guys? I know exactly how the road trip's going. <laughs> loud. <laughs> oh, yeah, because of Booger. Booger's in the car. <laughs> well, Bubba called me. Oh, did he? Yes. I have not heard from Booger yet since they left. Well, the reason you haven't heard from Booger is because he won't stop talking long <laughs> enough to call <laughs> you. Bubba said he will not be quiet. Like, okay, like, nonstop. They seem to be, like, having a good time, though, overall, besides that. Oh, I so know they're doing cool stuff along the way. So Bubba was positive about all this. It wasn't totally negative. The booger part was negative. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else was good. I really don't know how they're gonna all three survive in the same truck. I've been stuck in close quarters with Booger before, so I know what they're going through. So how's everything going with school? It's not. <laughs> it's not? No. I think like doing it straight out of high school, you know, that's Different. all you have in your life. But yeah. now you've got, you know, a husband and a child. Okay. So what do you think you're gonna do now? I have actually, I started an online women's boutique. Really? Yes. You have been busy. I know. Oh, well, 
I had my mindset on like doing the school thing and I quickly realized yeah. it's not for me. So I wanted to find a way to stay at home with Andy, but mm -hmm. also do something to be like still a little bit independent and contribute to like the family, you know. Mm -hmm. This online boutique is perfect. I handle 100% of everything from the house. I have the website built and all that, but I do want your help if you're willing to help. I've got a lot of extra free time now. Yeah, you, know? so you can you help me. Help, That's like, what I want to talk to you about. I want yeah. like you to come over and help me pick out certain clothes. I would love know? to. Like yes. I like this. Let's order this one and I'll buy one. Yes. I can take like pictures. You yeah. know? Yeah. Can, I would love that. You're gonna be my model. And then I no, I'll take pictures of you. No, you're gonna you're, be the model. It's I'm your the boutique. You're the photogenic one. I'll oh take girl. Of you. I'm the businesswoman. You're the model. <laughs> no, 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 no. You might need some more yoga if I'm gonna be a model. Hey, you, you're doing yoga. <laughs> That's so exciting. I think it's good. It filled the void that I was filling, if that makes sense. You and know? it feels like the right path kind of does. Yes. Yeah. You just feel kind of like settled, settled in where you're at. You seem nice. pretty like you seem pretty like at peace with it yeah. and everything. Yeah. I'm glad I got caught up on everything that you have been doing over the last couple of weeks. Oh my lord. All right, let's go get yes. Let's go get our babies. Yeah. <sighs> what a day. Oh, I'm sore. Coming up. First quest. What is this now? This would be Escargo. Dig it up, Marco. I'm about to treat y'all the best steak in Louisiana now. Well, I hope so. Harris, how do you know this is the best steak in Louisiana? Because I've heard. Huh? I've heard. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere from Canada to Mexico, New York, California. You name it, I've been there. You know, I ain't really sure if Cody's gonna be able to find the best steak in Louisiana. All three of us, we cowboys. And we're dang sure hard to please when it comes to a good steak. Fit to have me about a 16-ounce bone-in ribeye with all the trimmings. What's your steak, Bubba? Medium rare? Medium rare, bone-in ribeye. You are? Oh, pretty much the same thing. Be good with me. Bone in, bone out, either way. What are you looking at the menu, Bubba? Yep. What's it saying? Which one are we going, going to, to Harry? Home house. house. I ain't really got much on their menu. You got to go 5.3 miles and turn left on the Highway 44. Yo! Then it's going to be down about a mile on the right. Be far, boys. This is a steakhouse. Look how pretty it is. Look at it. Look at the scenery. It's beautiful, man. It's really nice. This way we gotta go. I can smell it. Bubba's got his nose in the wind. Table will find it quick. Wrong spot right here, son. No, we in the right spot. Listen, this ain't our spot. Yes, it is. This place is upscale, and we are not dressed for the occasion at all. You know, when you're riding on a road trip, you got to expect the unexpected. But I really didn't expect formal, fancy dinner. I wouldn't have brought us to a place where we were total outcast. Welcome to the carriage yes, house. Hey. Table for three. It's a view where y'all seated. We'll be out shortly with some bread to go with the cane syrup butter with pecan. And also we have a four course menu that will be coming out for y'all. So, oh, so we don't even have a menu to, to look through? Nope. The server comes over and tells us that they have a prefix menu. Well, that means we don't get to order what we want. The menu's already been made for the night. Is there steak on the menu? Yes, there is. Well, what, what is it though? We're sort of particular about our Meats. But for me, well, the beef tonight will be an A9 Wagyu for y'all. A Wagyu? A Wagyu? Wagyu? Yes. Wagyu? Wagyu. Oh, Wagyu. <laughs> Wagyu. 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 She tells us there's a prefix menu. I don't really know what that means, but you know what? At least there's steak on it. So. Heck, I'm so hungry, I'll just eat what you bring me. Is there anything we're supposed to do here? Just enjoy yourself like y'all been trying to get me to do. Just sit back and relax and get ready to eat some of this you see that right cane there? syrup with pecan butter. Here you go, you? first course. What is this then? This would be escargot. The who? <laughs> escargot. I don't really know what escargot is, but I'm fixing to learn. Kind of sounds like something that come over from Cuba, I had to guess. 
It's called escargot. Oh, it's snails. Dig it up, Arco. The first course that they bring out to us is escargot. Well, me with my refined taste, I know what that is. It's snails. Cody and Booger, they're not too sure about that. You all right? Well, this ain't bad right here now. I like it. I was kind of leery at first trying this snail, you know what I'm saying? But I try that first piece, and I'm here to tell you, that escargot is on point. I'm going to start looking for snails out in the yard. You don't like it? I need some hot sauce or something. You'd ruin it with some good hot sauce. I don't know about this now. But this is pretty good stuff. Mmm. That's about like eating an oyster. No way. Yeah. I'm not sure why escargot is it considered a delicacy, because I don't think I can get past the snail part. That's nasty. Mmm. Them snails kind of, mmm. Obviously, they know people love them. Whoa, now, what we got here? Here would be a fagua with a strawberry compo. What's a, a fagua? This would be duck liver. Y'all okay. don't need to waste your breath. I ain't eating a liver now. <laughs> the second course that they bring out is fagua, and apparently, that's duck liver. Do Look. you know what that does? Liver? It's a filter, it's right? It's a filter. I'm not eating liver, okay? It filters your blood. Why do I want to eat something that has filtered your blood? I'm not doing that. You eat oysters? Here. Bubba, you worry about the silliest stuff in life. Huh? Oyster is a filter, uh -uh. too. Mm-mm. She's Bubba. talking about good. Now, why they decided to name that Fogwa, I don't know, but it's good. I mean, really good. Like, it's pretty good stuff. Bubba, he ain't liking it. You so talking about good. You just drink that and eat that. Well, right here would be an A9 Wagyu. You know, I was a little nervous, but when this steak come out, I could tell right away this is what we come here for. This thing is so tender, it's just melting in my mouth. Oh, my God. Boy, that's a fine piece of meat right there now. <sighs> wow. You talking about good now. Yeah, for sure. That's the best steak I've ever ate in my life. That's I swear to you. Guys, I mean, I'm telling you, you right. Harris, you did a good job, buddy. You know what? I'm going to toast, guys. I appreciate it, us coming off down here and getting away from work a little bit. We're all down here. We're all great friends. Let's have a good time while Cheers. we're doing it. Let's do it. Coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Cody Harris. I'm telling you right now, I promise you I'm rested. Let's see what you got. Good start, Harris. Go I'm with it, son. What are we gonna do when we get over here at Jade's? We're gonna go over here and see old buddy. You never met Jade? Jade's a cool man. Oh, he's always got something going. He's got some cows, he's got a bunch of roping calves, he gives roping lessons. Hi, Jade Connor. Is the best roper I ever seen that never made it for. That sucker could get it on. Well, I tell you right now, if I'm fixing to meet somebody for the first time, I'm fixing to change clothes. Oh, yeah. Gosh, dang. We done got soured. Well, Jay don't live at about two and a half hours west of here. I haven't seen him in about six years now. It would mean the world to me. Mr. Jade Connors was good to me back in the day when I used to rodeo. I used to stay at his place. He used to let me rope. His family took me in like I was one of their own. Done a lot to this place since the last time I've I tell been you here. what, the place is pretty nice, ain't it? Speaking of the devil, and he Hello, here. Cody. What do you say, Jade Connor? How you been, buddy? How long's it been? Been a while. Should we hug? No, we'll no? skip that All step. Right. I met Jade at a rodeo, actually, and he said, You need to come by the house. I think I can get you even better. And so that's what I did. I just went to Jade's house and didn't leave for about a year. They just took me in like I was one of their own, and it feels good to be back. He really helped me turn out to be the man I am. What are you doing over here? Man, we come to get a bull from Grand Chenier. Booger found some bulls down there, and we're picking up one for our good friend, Mr. Brett. We're actually gonna go work a couple mm -hmm. days with him. Did you bring someone with you that knew what they were doing? Yes, sir. 
<laughs> okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Well, look, I've got some kids out there. We're roping. My daughter and two other kids that rope with me, we're getting ready for the state finals next week. And why don't you run some? How long's it been? Three, four years, mobile rodeo. Really? Oh, man, I watched Josie rope. I ain't seen her. In Come on, let's I, check I, it out. I'll, he on, definitely does. I'll watch a little No, while. he's going to run some. The last time I roped a cab was four years ago at my rodeo in Mobile. Come on, baby, right there, right there, right yes, there. Yes, son, that's what I'm talking about. Get it, one time, one time. One time, one time. Oh, wow, wow. I'm telling you right now, I promise you I'm rusty. Josie, y'all ride down here, please. Josie's on the gray horse. Kylie and Matt come rope with me about every day. Do you remember me by any chance? I do. It's hard to, it's hard hard to, forget. to forget a pretty face. <laughs> this is Matthew Glover. Hey, buddy. Matt's How's it going? Matt's an and Kylie Connor, freshman. This is Bubba hey, and Bubba. How y'all doing? Hi. I'm here, you How are y'all doing? Josie, we're going to try to talk Cody into roping a few today. He's kind of crawfishing already. If you're scared, say you're scared. Mm. No, Harris, now. I think she mm. called you out, Harris. I she did. <laughs> mm. Hey, I'm all for it. Cody talks all that talk. Let's see what he's made of. Let's see some action, Harris. You girls get in there and get roped. I mean, let me watch how it's, you know, remember how to shake my face and all that good stuff. Rodeo runs, OK? Get your concentration level up. Josie, you run one. Kylie, you're next. Josie runs another one, then Kylie, and then we'll let Matt run a few. It's pretty simple. Girls do what you call breakaway roping. They rope the calf, and the rope breaks off the calf's neck. They don't have to get off and tie the calf down. The guys, they have to rope the calf, run down there, and flank them and tie them down. All right, Josie. Good. Good yeah. shot. <laughs> I'm telling you what. You know. Same thing, Kylie. Good start. Go, 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 go. Woo! Left hand. Go on, girl. Oh! oh. Yeah. Man. Good roping, girls. I might need to stretch out there one time. That's what I say. Harris, you stretching down there? I'm stretching. I'm about ready to see you run one. You know what? I used to rope for a living. I mean, it's like riding a bike. Let's rope. It's time to rope. First run of the rope right here. Cody starts us off. Mr. Ladies and gentlemen, Cody Harris. All right, Harris. All right, Gabe. Let's see what you got. Probably like gate one time. Just rail it. Matt, you've got him scared to nod. Good start, Harris. Go I mean... with it, son. Wait, play with two. Woo! All right, good run, Harris. And the time for Cody Harris is 10-4. Oh, all this air out here, and I can't get none of it. You done a fine job, Harris. I need some water. He needs some water. He has worked for almost 10 seconds. Bubba, you all right out there? So who might take the batteries out of that speakerphone, please? OK, let's go. Be ready. Good. Big stone pull. This time. Set. You bet. Come on. Good run. Good run. Good run, Matt. And the time for Matt's 10 flat. Good run. Matthew winds up getting a faster time than Cody, but hey, Cody was a good sport about it, and I know Cody was just excited to be able to rope again. Hey, man. Pleasure, Mr. Cody. You're a talented young man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for letting me ride your horse. Yes, sir. Anytime. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I'd, hate, I'd hate to be paying entry fees at the same rodeo as you this weekend. Oh, that's all I can say. Thank you. Cody, pretty good, buddy. What are you breathing so hard for? <laughs> good to see you guys. <laughs> There's your hug. Thank you, buddy. Y'all yeah, come back anytime, yes, okay? Man. Good Appreciate to see you. Appreciate you letting me borrow your Y'all be careful on the road, yeah, okay? Thank you. Come on, Harry. Come on, buddy. You got it? Come on. Come Don't on, get in buddy. trouble. We're proud of you. It's all about washed up. <laughs> man down. Man down. Man down. I just brought out a few outfits for y'all. This is the stuff I haven't taken pictures in yet, so yeah. I'm gonna get y'all to help me with that. Cute. Is my cool, so whatever. Today, Jacqueline and Misty are over to model some of the clothes for the boutiques. This is a huge help for me, because now I can take their picture, throw it on the website, and be done. It's always good when us girls can get together, especially when the guys are out of town, and just have a nice, fun day. They're all smalls. I pulled smalls, because y'all are skinny little heifers, so. Technically, we're cows. We all have babies now. <laughs> True. <laughs> I think this will look really good on you. Well, you try that on, and, I, okay. and I'll try these two on. Because so I've got jeans on anyways. So. Yeah. Modeling is absolutely not my thing. I do not feel comfortable modeling. I have never done it before. But I'm going to put a smile on my face and do the best I can. Here comes my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like yeah, that. I like, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like the pop of color, yeah. Jacqueline looks great. I know she's probably thinking she doesn't look that good, but she really does look good. 
I think oh, it's super yeah. cute, don't you? Yeah, I, like I do too. too. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the sass. It's really fun for us to have like this little moment of girl time. We're always so busy and the guys are out of town, so it's the perfect opportunity. Oh, I like that one. I know, I love this. Yes. Definitely perfect for yeah, like a it. tall person. Exactly. And it fits your waist good. I like that one. I do too. Yeah. Do y'all mind coming outside and let's get a few pictures of y'all in these outfits so I can use them? <laughs> the girls coming over today and helping me is huge. I mean, it is so much work for me to try to set the camera timer and run over there and model that today, this has took a lot of work out of my situation. I feel like I need to do something to show the movie. Yeah, like, are there pockets? Put, put your hands in your pocket. Oh, I do. I oh, yeah, yeah. Like, do, a, do, do a little like side. So cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Oh. Oh, look at you go, girl. Oh my gosh, you've done this before. That looks good. <laughs> and off. the wind's blowing your hair <laughs> into like perfection. Yes. <laughs> okay, that looks good, Misty, thank you. Five dollars, please. I think this modeling is a lot more up Misty's alley than it is mine. I mean, look at her, she's tall, thin. She looks like she belongs on the runway. Okay, I've never modeled before. <laughs> mm. That's cute when you're laughing. <laughs> I'm so glad this is y'all and not me. Okay. Hot mama. Oh, Jacqueline Brown on the loose. <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> Coming up. Are these all heifer bulls? Absolutely. As far as confirmation, now the paperwork's where it's at. We're breeding these things to heifers. It's going to be sort of important. Right. And if we don't get a live calf, we get backing up. Yes, sir. This must be it. About time. Yeah, Woo. Morning, boys. Hey, Chick, how you man, been, man? Yeah, Booger, how are you, Bubba? Good to see, see you. You know, this is the whole reason we come out to Louisiana. We're finally here to buy a bull. We're at Chick's Ranch. We're ready to look at some good cattle and get us a bull ball. Now, I've got four head of these little heifer bulls here. Get him loaded and get what you need. Good deal. Y'all got the papers on them bulls already? Absolutely, yeah. paperwork's ready to go. These replacement heifers that Brett's breeding are small heifers. We don't want a real big bull, but we don't want a small bull. We want one that's just gonna be right for these replacement heifers. Are these all heifer bulls? Absolutely. As far as confirmation, now the paperwork's where it's at. We're breeding these things to heifers. It's gonna be sort of important. Right. Well, if you know your business, let me guess you like the 10 bull. Absolutely. You're right. <laughs> Ten bulls, he's out of a 10X bull and, and, he, and a lemon cow, and he's a really, really nice deal. You know, it's, it's what you want. He's a nice bull. As far as confirmation is pretty good, we're gonna be breeding these things to Mr. Brett's heifer, so. Well, once them calves are on the ground, that confirmation will come into play. We're looking for good confirmation. We want something that has a good calf ease. That way that heifer can have that small calf and everybody will be fine. And if we don't get a live calf, we ain't backing up. Well, you won't have no problem with that, and he'll be great for you. He'll be great. Well, guys, we all decide we want the number 10 bull for Mr. Brett. Sounds good to me. I'm, I'm in. Right. Now that we've got this bull situation handled, it's time for us to get some rest because we got a long day in the swamp tomorrow.